Yeah, I mean, Princeton would uh, long for the days when the Ivy League champ would get in uh, right. based on the regular season. They didn't have a tournament. Uh, but, I mean, but Ivy Madness has been around for a while now, so th those are the breaks. Uh, you know, they made a run at Yale, but Yale was uh, more consistent all weekend. And I think that's that's where I'm, I'm headed with this uh, matchup. I just don't see Princeton playing the type of defense that you need uh, to go out on the road in a game that VCU wants to play and win. They, they're... Uh, the, one of the headlines in the, the Richmond Times Dispatch today is, uh, you know, we're not here to BS around uh, from one of the VCU players. So they they want to make a run. Uh, their their season ended at the hands of the rival Spiders. So you know you know they've been uh, stewing all weekend. They knew they weren't going to get an, uh, an automatic bid. Uh, pardon me, an at large bid uh, to the NCAA tournament. So this isn't a really uh, you know a buzz kill that they're stuck in the NAT. They got a, a, a three seed, a home game. Uh, you know. Go extend your season as long as you can. And, uh, you know, in Ace Baldwin, they have a, a, one of the better uh, on-ball defenders at the point in all of college basketball. And, and uh, he kind of sets the tone for what they want to do on the defensive end. They don't have anybody in the Ivy League that pressures the ball like that. Um, you know, all Princeton, decent rebounding team, but I think uh, VCU has them there as well. And the, the number is, uh, you know, manageable. Six and a half, sevens now uh, throughout most. You can still find a six and a half here or there and that's basically having the lead in the final minute and getting a stop and getting some free throws and extending that margin uh and i think uh the uh rams will do the bare minimum is doing just that if they uh go ahead and uh make it a double digit breezer of a win then uh, that would be fine by me too